Hey folks, welcome to the first video in the Google App Sheet tutorial series. In this video, we're going to be creating our first app using the popular no code platform Google App Sheet. Um, in this video, we're going to be creating an expense tracking app using a simple Google Sheet and App Sheet. So, this app can be used to track your expenses, and additionally, I'll be showing you how to download a CSV file containing all your expenses, maybe at the end of the week or at the month. As we discussed previously, we're going to be creating these apps using a Google Sheet and Google App Sheet. To create the expense tracking app, we're going to be using two important sheets. So the first sheet is going to be containing the following columns. There's going to be timestamp, the time at which the expense is made, the user's email address by which the user is using the app and making the expenditure, the categories under which the user can make expenses, the name of the expenditure that is made and the amount spent on the expenditure. The second sheet is going to be the categories. So these are the categories under which the user can make expenses in the app. It's going to be food, transport, rent, loan, insurance, gas, education, savings, medical, eating out, general expenses. If you want, you can remove and add your customer specific categories you can also add more columns if you feel that you these are needed in the app let me know in the comment section and i'm going to be leaving the google sheet link in the description and um, if you want to work with it you can use it so now we're going to be using these google sheets to create the app so there are basically two ways by which we, we can create apps from a google sheet the first one is going to be by going to extensions clicking on app sheet and clicking on create app so this is one way to do that the second way is going to be going to appsheet.com. You will have to log in with your Google account, which will bring you up to this. And you just need to go ahead and click for start for free. And then uh, right now I have no apps. I have not created any apps from here. So I'm just going to go ahead, click on new app. But as soon as you click new app, you have three options. That's going to be start with your own data. You can start with an idea. Or you can start with a template that is already made by Google App Sheet. But I have my original idea and data. So I'm just going to go click on start with your own data. Then in the name, I'm going to be giving it as expense tracking app. I want to create an expense tracking app. And in the category, I'm going to be selecting maybe. Um, I think I'm just going to keep it for personal and fun at the moment. I'm just going to go ahead, click on choose your data. So the data that I'm going to be having is expense tracking app, Google app sheet. That's the sheet I have created here. Just go ahead and just select that. And in a few seconds, your app will be created. So here you can see, welcome to your app. The app has been created and it is available to start customizing. It's going to go ahead just click on don't show. Just click on start customizing. Here you can see on the right side of the screen, you can see the preview of the app. It will show you exactly how your app looks like. At the bottom, there are tabs in which you can see your various views. For now, we only have one that's going to be spending. And here you can see this is the data. This is where all your Google Sheets in the main spreadsheet are going to be stored. If you go to UX, that's going to be the views. So for now, we only have one view that's going to be spending. So you can see the view here. There is behavior where you can carry out various actions. There is some automation, there's security, there's intelligence. So for now, we're just going to be going to data. We can go ahead and add the second column, right? So I'm going to go click on add categories. Here you can see the table has been added to the app, but it's, you cannot still see it in the view. So to add a view to your app, you need to go to the UX section here. Just click on new view. And I'm just going to name it, say categories. And I'm going to be selecting the categories Google sheet for this case. And right now you can see it's the form of a chart because we have selected the view type as chart. So you have various view types that you can go with. There's going to be card. There is onboarding. You have gallery view, your table, your various different, different types of views that you can use. But I personally like the card feature. So I'm just going to be leaving it low insurance, gas, education and stuff. Then the position where the button to be accessed. So for now, is, since there are only two, it's either going to be the left or it's going to be right or it's going to be center. So I'm just going to be leaving it where it is right now. Then you have view options here. So there are various ways by which you can view the data. If you want, you can view filtered data here. You can sort it, you can group it, or you can have a group aggregate for it. But for now, we won't be touching any stuff, anything like that. 
here is the layout of your card here if you have additional data maybe you want to add a description as in what comes under loan maybe bank loan there is a there is a loan you'll take from the bank it's a car loan home loan and stuff like that so you, you can have a short description that talks about the category that you have you can add that too then we have the display so that's going to be the icon of what you want but we it's we're not going to be adding anything right now then we have some behavior and we have some documentation so we're just going to go ahead and click on save for now so now that we've configured the category section let's just work on the spending view for now here you can see there's nothing right now just going to go click on plus you can see the timestamp is automatically being added here then there is the user's email address the categories name of expenditure and the amount spent but here i don't want the user to manually write down the categories as if i am okay i want to i'm taking insurance or i'm buying food or something like that groceries and stuff like that i want the user to have a drop down experience so that he can select it so we're going to be doing that i'm going to go to my data we're going to go to columns we're going to go to the spending section and we want the categories to refer the we want this categories question here to refer the categories option here so that the user can select these options so we're going to go we're going to edit this one here we go we change the type so we're going to change it to ref we have a reference here and on clicking on ref you can see there are the type details so there's the source table that is where which table does this column reference to so we're going to go click on categories here and then there's you don't need to do anything like that this data validity is computing behavior display and stuff you don't need to do that just go ahead click on done and just go ahead and click on save and now if i go to the plus sign i hit again and i can see i can select the categories okay so the next thing is going to be i don't want the user to again add his email address manually so we're going to be using some formulas in this so we're going to go to users email address we're going to be going to so we're going to go into the user email addresses column here and you can see there's a formula option here so it's going to select click on formula and there are various ways where you can automatically add formulas to bring out data so we want the user email so i'm going to go to the other scroll down you can see you have either username email or the local i'm just going to do user email you can just go ahead and copy this and you can just go here and paste it out here and you can see it is verified that the formula is correct we'll just go ahead click on save it's going to remove this go ahead and click on save here and now if i go to the plus sign here you can see test mail double nine six and at the rate gmail.com automatically has come in in the user email address column so now that we have added the user email address and we have added the categories reference so now we're going to be going ahead and making our first expenditure so i'm going to be doing categories eating out and i'll just say lunch with friends right and the amount spent i'm going to say i spent 100 rupees on it i'm going to go ahead and click on save here you can see we refresh the app once again you can see eating out 100 has been spent on eating out but i don't like how the view is right it's not looking good so we're going to go into our ux here and we're going to go to our spending then here we have various views that we can select so here we're going to be selecting the deck of we have onboarding we have day but i like the deck format here it's lunch with friends it specifies it and then we're going to go to scroll down here and now i want to sort this or group this by the category that is there i'm going to add one it's going to be row number no i wanted to just do it by group it by category so i'm going to say eating out is going to be the category right and if i just go ahead make another expense here i'm going to do say gas um filled petrol in my car i'm going to do that i'm going to say since petrol is expensive i'm going to write 500 i'm going to go ahead and click on save refresh this and i'm going to go ahead and click on save here and here you can see eating out and i can see the category the gas is under it so you can see the category has been listed perfectly 
Now we're going to be scrolling down to the main image, primary header, secondary header and stuff like that. So lunch with friends is going to be the title and I don't want the timestamp to come in, right? The primary header, I can maybe keep it as the name of the expenditure, right? And the secondary header, I want it to be the amount spent. So I know that for uh, at lunch, I spent 100, filled petrol in my car, I spent 500. And then maybe if you want at the summary column, maybe we can add it the timestamp at which the expenditure has been made. You can do it like that. Then you have, if you have any image, you can do it round image, square image and stuff like that. It's going to go ahead and click on save here. So here you can see we have successfully created our expense tracking app. In the next video, I'm going to be showing you how to export the CSV file that contains all the expenditures made by the user. Maybe you can download it at the end of the week in order to see how much expenses you have made. If you like this video, then don't forget to like, share and for more content, hit the subscribe button. I will see you in the next video.